called Kaboom. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some kind of ball uh, that kids are gonna use for kicking. Uh, we're using the ones from PlaySoccerGolf.com. These are fantastic. I love how soft they are. Uh, and the kids, if they get hit, it doesn't really hurt a whole lot. So got those hula hoops. We're using some hula hoops. Bowling pins with poly spots underneath it. If you don't want to use poly spots, you can just use a piece of floor tape or a mark on the ground. Uh, and then I'm using my big uh, recycled trash cans. And our point system for this one is, are going to be beanie babies. Uh, for your point system, you can use milk caps, uh, playing cards, flashcards, whatever you want to use. We're using baby babies for our groups to collect. So they're going to divide your class into two teams on this one. And the amount of balls you want to use is up to your class size. If I had enough of these for all the kids to have one with a partner, that's how I would play it. But unfortunately, I don't have that. So uh, the, when we make a line, the line moves very quickly because we reinforce the idea of after they kick the ball, they need to jog out to get it, jog back. There's enough recovery time that they should be able to do that. And the kids do really well with that. So they're going to come out when it's their turn. Uh, one team is using the baseline on one side, the other team is using the other side. They place the ball on the ground, we're working on kicking, so they're going to make their approach to the ball. Now, they're going to try to get the ball either to stay inside the hula hoop, knock down the bowling pin, or go inside the bucket. They can also touch the bucket if you want. There's different scoring options on this one. So we make a kick, let's see how I do. Okay, Oop. so my ball, I don't know if you caught it, it actually hit the top of the bucket. I thought it was going to go in, I would have gone crazy if it would have. But it hit the top of the bucket, and it also landed in the hula hoop. So on this point system, uh, when we told the kids if it touches the bucket, knocks down a blowing pin, or goes into a hula hoop, you get one point more beanie baby. Sometimes it'll hit the bucket and go into the hula hoop, we still told the kids only one. All right? So I would only get one point. So I get my ball, of course I'm jogging, I pick that one beanie baby, I jog back, and I put this inside of my team hula hoop. Give the ball to the person by the cone, go to the end of the line where the line's moving, 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 moving until it's my turn again. If my ball would have gone inside the bucket, and just in it, I, we told the kids they could earn three points. And, then, and they really like that idea. Because that's a hard target to get into. Believe it or not, we did have some of our friends do that. I was very excited to see. So, uh, of course, then at the end, when all animals have been collected, we simply said, we are looking for the pumpkin beanie baby. And whichever team had the pumpkin beanie baby, they won. So we change it up, whatever item we're looking for, might tell them count all the beanie babies that have blue or green or whatnot. So, uh, again, I hope that your students will enjoy this kicking activity. I'm Coach Pearl, reminding you to keep on moving.